thought they walked these dogs up to the park. It's like a mile and a half walk, if that. Let's see how good they do. Flower, come. Get their ears done, y'all. Ears not done yet. There's nothing I'll cry over if they don't get done. Because I like their ears. But for show dogs that I'm trying to make them out to be, I'd rather have their ears done. Look at that. That's a girl right there. Boom, that's a girl. That's a girl too. Three months old. Uh, I want to say 12, 13 weeks. Maybe 13. I'm losing track. But got all that information down if need be. Come on. Right now, I don't feel the need to put leashes on them. I feel like it's going to be so easy to train them to walk on leashes. But once they get used to them leashes and you let them off and they start running off and you chase after them, they become them dogs that like to run away. You got to search after them for minutes to hours because they ran off. So I prefer to do it off leash first then on leash because these, these little bit of months when they're young like this, it's crucial. Teach them to be by your side. Teach them to want to be near you. And what better way to start when they're puppies? Puppies are afraid to be alone, to be left alone. And take advantage of that. And they'll follow you anywhere. Look at that. That is a beautiful crew if you do ask me. Beautiful crew. I think I did pretty good with this litter. My first big litter. Somebody started trouble with me. 
talking about my dogs and mutts and they're not show quality. Started going after my daughter and everything. Just because he was mad because the Merle try I got didn't have a litter on the ground yet. <laughs> Just because the Merle try I have doesn't have a litter on the ground yet, he came after me. After my daughter. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm sorry that my Merle don't have a litter on the ground yet. He had one female. Fucked up with that one. I did a coat on with her and that screwed me over. Never again. Never again will I do another coat on. Never. It's either sell or I keep. No in between. Never again. But as of right now, my boy, the Merle Try, I'm going to have him probably in the next video, is ABR registered. He does not have a litter. I'm not in a rush to breed him just to say he got puppies on the ground. He's two years old, soon to be three in August. And I just might throw him to one of the females I kept off of this litter. They are not related. I don't know if I will ever do an inbreeding, an inbreeding, but as of right now, that's not my goal to inbreed. But that Merle I got probably to this chocolate female right here will be official. I know I would throw colors with that and correctness with that. Come on. I brag about the the structure and the no easty westy feet and the clean bite. My blue moral does have a slight underbite. He has the what people call the stub tail or the nub tail or a kink tail whichever version you would like to use it's like half a tail he has but from structure and cleanness he has that he has the agility that I like but I don't know I'm not like I said I'm not in a rush to breed him I started off with him he was mainly supposed to be a, a just a pet. I worked off a, a wonderful, wonderful deal with the breeder that gave me him. And he is amazing. He is amazing. The person who gave me, not gave me, but the person who worked out the deal with the Merle I have, he's a stand-up guy. Nothing bad at all to say about him. He is a stand-up guy. city space is limited <laughs> like the park area is limited <sighs> my goal is to buy a house and that's where I will continue my breeding program I'm not in a rush like I said I got to get myself situated first there's no rush on my side I have what I want right now
the right. Y'all want some water? Y'all scared? Good girl, Roxy. She like, I'm gonna take the easier route. Look at this. You smart as heck. <laughs> Good girl. <laughs> you gonna make me fall. This girl too busy eating sticks. I want to apologize to everyone who hit me up for a puppy. Apparently, someone on the other side didn't do their part when it came to the paperwork. They will still be UKC registered. They still will have their papers. It's just coming slow as hell. You can't even blame COVID no more. And I find out the real reason, like this, it is like a headache, you know, but they will finally have their papers. I didn't want to sell without paperwork, but two guys that I sold the puppies to were all about waiting and they bought the puppies and they taken my word that the paperwork will be mailed off to them. And I great, uh, greatly uh, appreciate that. Like, it's it's hard to trust people these days. And I was surprised when they was like, yo, don't worry about it. Just mail me the papers when you get them. And I was like, yes, bet. I'm trying to be 100 with this breeding stuff. And when you, you counting on other people to do their side in a timely manner you can't control that they gotta do it like yeah I can have an attitude and I can be frustrated but that still is not gonna force them to do their part so I was patient with it and I had to come out of character in order to, for everything to move forward and 
just this experience alone, I don't think I would do another outhouse breeding for a while. And when I say outhouse, that means I'm not going to use anyone else's stud. I'm going to stick with my studs. If somebody would like to use my stud, they can. Because I know that I'm legit. I know that I would get the paper to you, paperwork to you, or do my part in getting the paperwork in order for your litter to be registered. I'm not going to hold off. I'm not going to make excuse after excuse. Everything is going to be done when it's supposed to be done. If anybody would like to use my studs, I'm more than willing to do it. But for me to use others, other people's studs at this moment, I'm not going to say I would never, ever do it again. But at this moment, at this time, no. Like I said, I'm not in a rush anyways. That boy right there is my future stud. He got months on months before he's ready to breed to anything anyways. I have the Merle try. I'm not in a rush to breed him. He's two years old. I'm taking my time with it. Like All the frustration I've been through with just one single litter alone was enough for me to be like, man, trust, trust issues. <laughs> like, I can't. Well, on a more happier note, these these guys is huge. They are huge. And they don't run after people. Like, when I say that, a lot of puppies want to go run and be pet and be hyper when they see other people. No, they don't do that. If somebody comes to us and want to pet them, that's a different story. Look at her. But she, they're not going to run off to someone else just to be rubbed. Look, boom. Hey, Roxy. Good boy. Ha, 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 ha.